All right, for those of you who follow along on the channel, the weld review video I just did the other day, if you haven't seen it already, you should check it out. But I reviewed a bunch, uh, three little 110 welders like that. They, they all underperformed. These two on 110 only put out about 110 volt uh, amps, excuse me, uh, which is way underrated what they're actually rated at doing. So I piggybacked them. So check this out. I was actually able to turn them on and so far they're not blowing each other up but before i start doing any testing i wanted to start filming it so i got positive to positive so we're not doubling voltage uh but we are should be theoretically doubling amperage so to get to 110 amps on this one or 100 amps i think is what it did i had to max it out so that gauge is just like it's it may as well be a fisher price steering wheel um and on this one it's fairly accurate up to 110 and then after that, it's kind of bogus. So I just put it on 110 because that's around where it puts out. So theoretically, we should be 200 to 220 amps right here. I don't have it hooked to my uh, my stint because I'm afraid it's going to blow it up. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I don't want to ruin my stint. Um, I don't really care if I blow up the welders. But uh, I got both the grounds. They're just straight hooked to the table. So this should be interesting. Theoretically, I should be able to vaporize a 532 rod with that, uh, which is a fairly big rod, uh, but it doesn't, take, it doesn't take 220 amps to run it. Um, so anyway, we're going to try that right now, and this could get exciting, or nothing could happen. Most likely, those welders are just going to melt, <laughs> but we'll see. Oh man, that makes a high-pitched noise. And I think we're actually getting amperage out of this. Holy crap, I think it actually works. Alright, so I am amazed that that works. Now, it didn't vaporize the rod, so I don't know if we're getting a 220 out of it, amperage-wise. Uh, let's hook a gauge to it, see what it does. Alright, I got the gauge hooked up, and you'll see at the, right at the beginning there, it was 71.8 volts, which is pretty good, and it makes starting the weld really easy, and it did start very easy. Um, it's showing the next one down, so we're talking about the left column there, the next gauge down is the amps. And it's running, it's showing 198, 195, so, so right in there as we're running. That thing reads a little bit on the low side, but it's I don't feel like it's too terribly low because I don't believe I'm exceeding 210 amps on this. It's running that rod very well on the hot side, but it's not overly hot, and 210 is the max for this rod. So um, I don't think we're exce in excess of that. Now you can see I'm actually trying to stall the welder out, and it won't. Um, and I was actually afraid I was going to weld the plate to my table there. All right, guys, so it is, it is, it always makes me laugh additionally when I realize I'm laughing when I'm down here by myself. So I'm just going to imagine that you're here with me so that I'm not laughing by myself. Because to me, that's really funny. And it's not unheard of to stack power packs, you know, to it, theoretically, it shouldn't have blown up those welders. But I figured there's something I was I would be missing that why they would have blown up, but they didn't. They re literally didn't care. Just like the theory would suggest is they're not going to care. They're just going to combine their amperage. Um, we're not increasing voltage doing it that way when you're going parallel. Um, you're not increasing voltage, but together they'll they'll make more amperage. Picture this: you got a diesel truck, you got a diesel starter, you got two batteries. They're hooked positive to positive, negative negative basically. Um, and that's so your starter has more amps so it can start the truck easier. Um, it's not increasing voltage, it's just increasing, increasing the amperage, just like what we just did. Um, and in fact, if you're going to suitcase weld or whatever, um, one, one battery sometimes is enough and you'll go two, uh, because that's basically going to be your, how many amps you can actually get out of it. Um, wire feeds a lot easier for suitcase, well, suitcase welding because then it's mainly voltage and in the wire itself, you just kind of adjust your wire speed to match. But, uh, anyway, that was really fun. I had fun doing it. Um, so theoretically links in the description below for these. I don't know if I'd recommend doing that. So, um, do it at your own risk. But, and, and don't try to warranty one of these welders after blowing them up doing that. Um, I don't know if they, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know if they blow up, but 
theoretically you're using them in an unintended purpose. So, um, but two of these little guys, these are $62, I believe. If you follow that link, they might be on sale. Um, because I think this model they're closing out cause they have a new one that it's the, I think it's the same thing, but it has a fancier looking case. Um, so maybe you'll get lucky and get it on sale, but either way, 62 bucks, you'd be a 200 amp welder, 180 amp welder will look on the low side for $100. $40 that actually put out that it's really pathetic that they claim this thing's 250 amps and and with two of them you still wouldn't be there um and then the arc captain which is a better welder this is $98 I believe um that one and if you put that on two 230 plugs because we, we got 130 amps out of that on 230 so you'd be at 260 amps combined there so that might be the better way to go but you'd be into it 200 bucks because those are $98 so um which is still not bad <laughs> for, for something that 260 amps, that's a hell of a lot of power. In fact, maybe I'll do another video. If this video does well, maybe I'll do another video where I'll actually stack the two powerful, well, the more powerful welders, because then we could get 160, 130, we get 290 out of it and we can see what we could do. And I, I'd have to get some bigger rod because 290 through a 532 would that'd be gone but you could air arc or something with it which is cool because you're up into well into the air arcing range um on that so anyway like subscribe share i had fun doing it i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one